Hello, everyone. My name is Idris. I'm a principal product manager at Couchbase, managing the Couchbase Analytics services. Today, I'm going to be talking about the newly introduced Tableau Connector for Analytics service as part of release 7.1. One of the key things what we have done here is a native connectivity to the Tableau uh, visualization tool, which is uh, packaged with a JDBC driver. And we also introduced something called Tabular Reviews to simplify the development of those visualizations. These Tabular Reviews allow you to make your JSON data appear more structured and apply schema to it. And so you can define relationships. And uh, for folks who are familiar with the uh, RDBMS out of the world, you can apply referential integrities like foreign keys and, and primary keys. And with this, you're allowed to create joins, you can create aggregations, you can use the powerful window functions as part of the, uh, the uh, NoSQL uh, capabilities in analytics. Uh, you can apply roll-up cubes on JSON to run complex workloads. Uh, also, you can analyze JSON, uh, CSV, TSV, and Parquet, which is in preview in 7.1, and seamlessly combine that data with Couchbase operational data to provide you real-time insights. So with that, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of demo of how this is done. So before we get started uh, on the demo, a couple of things. One is first, you need to download Couchbase uh, um, Analytics Connector. Uh, and of course, you need to have Tableau. So you can go to the Tableau Exchange and search for Couchbase Analytics, uh, and you'll see these instructions where you can download the driver as well as the, the taco file, what is a Tableau Connector file uh, from this page. And you need to follow the instructions if you're using the appropriate operating systems to put those connectors and the jar files in the right place. So once that's done, uh, the second step, as I mentioned, is something called uh, tabular reviews. For the sake of this demo, I've already created it, but just to give you a feel for what those tabular reviews look like, um, these are tabular reviews, basically an example of uh, creating based on a travel sample data set, uh, showing you the structure of the view, the definition, like in this case, we are providing a hotel ID, uh, the author, uh, the, and providing a data type to it, a date time value to it. And this means if the value, if there's default, then convert that to null, right? So they're very similar to the RDBMS uh, tools. And what kind of date time format, some primary and foreign keys, and this is your SQL plus plus query to fire. And uh, essentially, you would see these views come up on, if you're using the SQL, uh, the uh, the workbench, couch, couch based NoSQL workbench, you'll see the analytics views right here, right? With that, uh, what I'm gonna do is do a demo and show you how to connect this capability from Tableau and uh, build a quick dashboard and uh, see how quick and fast this can get things going for you, All right? Uh, so this is, once you download the jar file and the taco file, you go to Tableau, and you will see, uh, want to connect to a server. You say more and say Couchbase Analytics by Couchbase. And this is where uh, the, the first step where you need to provide the, the Couchbase uh, Analytics server information, right? The scope, in this case, we are using a travel sample and uh, data, the credentials. Uh, and if you're using SSL, then you can, can provide information on the uh, certificate and the host name, et cetera, right? In this case, we're just there's no uh, need for SSL. So let me just show how to connect and build some visualization. So there we go. I'm going to sign in. And see, but at this point in time, and what it's doing is trying and, and connecting to all the various views which are there in, in the system, which are for the scope travel sample inventory. Uh, scope and all those views which I shown earlier are visible. So let's say now you know the uh, you know the use case here is uh, a business user would like to visually see the number of hotels in a country and for each of the cities show the hotel information with number of reviews, the ratings, and you know and, and they they want to see the filtering of the hotels based on amenities like free breakfast, free parking, free internet access. So there are three main uh, views which I'm going to select here. Uh, one is the hotel information. So I'm going to double click here. It should show the hotel view. 
And the other one is the hotel review information. And you notice as I added this, you, these were automatically joined by the hotel ID. This is because we provided those referential integrities in the views and it has detected the one-to-many cardinality as well. So, and very seamlessly, you can also add the hotel investment view, which is shows the folks who have liked it. So just to give a little preview before we get building the dashboard in the hotel, we can look at the data real quick and gives you all the new list of the hotels, the addresses, and the other information about the hotel uh, in there. You can see the review data as well, just so that get a little preview of the data, and you can also look at the endorsement view. So once we get this thing started, let's go and build our dashboard. So go to the worksheets uh, in this case, and let's start building, uh, seeing uh, all the hotels in this. Let's say we want to just specifically focus for some countries. Let's apply some filters. So we say, let's see only UK, and we look at the geo, and we look at the number of hotels which are there. And you can see right here, hey, it shows all the count of hotels in UK, but you know, essentially we really want to break it down by the city. So I can take into the detail and throw in the city. And now you can see the breakdown of, of all these hotels across the UK. And let's add a little bit of uh, uh, color to it. So that way the count of hotels which you're seeing shows from lighter to darker shades. So now you can see the, the count of hotels and, uh, and, and the shades of how it's growing. Uh, you can also add a size to it. So for example, you can take the count of hotel and see, I want to sh show the largest to the smallest. And you can see very quickly that in this case, London has the most number of hotels uh, and, 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 and see it very visually with some colors. So let's go ahead and save this worksheet uh, called uh, no, something like, you know, geo country hotel view, right? And let's go to the next sheet where we want to show all the various uh, hotels where we have, actually, let's go ahead and add some filters here because we wanted to know whether this has free breakfast. Uh, let's say it's true, right? And so you can see as you add more filters to it, you will you want to see any internet availability, free internet availability, and you can show the filters for all of these. And then you can see free parking as well. You said true and very quickly, you can also show the country filter here. So you can play with other countries as well. So in this case, US and France as our, our sample data. So now I'm looking at information where all the hotels in UK, which have free breakfast, free internet, and free parking across, and see how visually you can uh, quickly derive some insights. Let's go and look at the, uh, the, the details of the hotels, the city names, and, uh, and in another worksheet, and then we can put together in a dashboard. So, so what, what we want to do here is uh, we want to look at the ratings, the overall review ratings before I get there. So the re review rating here, we can go, let's change this property to be using instead of some, let's use the average because that's what we're looking for. This is from average rating one to five. And uh, we also have the review counts uh, as well. So let's go uh, look at the review count, the review rating, and along with that, we want the city and the hotel name. And we can quickly drag here. Let's just show you some information and say, hey, we really, this is showing you a table, but we want to show in a visual format. So now we can quickly see uh, changing into a bar graph. And it looks like there's some bad data here where some of the cities are, are null. So let's remove those. We can go into filters and say, remove all the ones which are null, right? And let's say you wanted to sort this by average rating overall from highest to lowest, right? And this is within the city and the hotel name. So, and then add the labels or, so now you can see that. And you can notice that, you know, the rating overall, it's got uh, a bunch of integers and stuff like that. So we can actually go here into the ratings 
and change the property to change the number format to say it's number, but no decimal places, and it looks a little bit more clean. And we can also go in and change in the ratings review to, uh, let's say, a different color. You want to pop it out a little bit. Uh, and the, the, the count, let's say you want to just move out a little bit of a different color. So now you can see how quickly we were able to do, do this uh, and, uh, and, and, and provide this information. And let's say you also want to see the number of likes, uh, which this hotel has. So we can drag this on from the likes and add another pill to it. And you can see you've added the number of likes. And you can change all of this information as, as part of Tableau uh, capability. So really quickly, we were able to uh, show the, the list of hotels, the, the ratings. And um, and now let's go create a dashboard. Before we do that, let's let's go and, and, and give it a give it a name to it, and uh, let's call this uh, the uh, you know list of hotels uh, by ratings uh, and uh, you know review count reviews and likes, right? So very quickly, we were able to do that. Let's go put together a dashboard for uh, an interactive dashboard for all of these to work together. And all you can do here is you can uh, create a dashboard here. You look at the, put the worksheet which you created first, uh, which is showing you all the hotels by the country which we have filtered. And then we have the ratings uh, and actual hotel names by city. So what you can do now here is make this interactive. As you can see, as you drag this, the filters of the uh, the dashboards also come, uh, the, sorry, the worksheet come along. And we can put filter here. So now we can see, I want to see, look at all the hotels in London. And there you go. How quickly you were able to look at a particular hotel and interactively uh, you can play with this information. So if you add, wanted to add more information, it will change that. And then you can say, okay, fine. Let me show all 22 ones in London, which has all uh, in for all hotels with free breakfast, uh, whether they have or do not have free breakfast. So, so you saw the power of uh, the Tableau connector, how quickly we were able to uh, visualize data from the data which is sitting in your cloud-based analytics uh, uh, collections and built on top of those views, which has some schema and the structure, and we were able to visualize in, in minutes. Thank you for watching.